Hello, everyone. Welcome to the lecture series on health management. We discussed that the evolution of management theories can be divided into five major approaches. Historical background, classical approach, quantitative approach, behavioral approach, and contemporary approach. The contemporary approach includes contingency approach to management and systems approach to management. In the previous session, we discussed the contingency approach to management. In this session, we will discuss the concept of the systems approach. In 1960, an approach to management appeared which tried to unify the prior schools of thought. This approach is known as the systems approach. This approach views the organization as an organic and open system composed of interacting and interdependent parts called subsystems. This approach is based on the overview that everything is interrelated and interdependent. One of its most important characteristics is that it is composed of a hierarchy of subsystems. For example, if the world economy is a system, various national economies are subsystems. The main five characteristics of the system approach to management are number one, subsystems. Each organization is a system made up of combination of many subsystems. These subsystems are interrelated. Number two, holism. Each subsystem works together to make up a single whole system. Decisions made in any subsystem affect the entire system. Number three, synergy. The collective output of the whole system is greater than the sum of the output of its subsystems. Number four, closed and open systems. Closed systems are the internal subsystems of the organization that do not interact with the external environment. Open systems are those that interact with other systems that are outside of the organization. The whole organization is an open system made up of a combination of subsystems, which may be open or closed. Number five, system boundary. The organization is separate from the external environment with a boundary. The external environment is made up of other systems. According to the systems approach, an organizational system has five components. Number one, inputs. Inputs may be raw materials, human resources, capital, information, technology, and so on. Number two, a transformational process. It includes employee work activities, management activities, and operations methods. Number three, outputs, which may be products or services, financial results information, and so on. Number four, feedback. Results from outputs influence inputs in the form of feedbacks. Number five, the environment. These components make up internal and external factors that affect the system. In the system's approach, attention is paid towards the overall effectiveness of the system rather than the effectiveness of the subsystems. The system's approach assists in studying the functions of complex organizations. It is possible to bring out the interrelations in various functions like planning, organizing, directing, controlling, and decision-making. This approach has an edge over the other approaches because it is very close to reality. But there are certain limitations to this approach. This approach is called abstract and vague. It cannot be easily applied to large and complex organizations. Moreover, it does not provide any tools and techniques for managers. With this lecture, all theories of management are over. In the next series, we will discuss about the management techniques.